And hello, members of the Melton community. This is Mayor Gord Krantz, uh, and it is uh, Friday, March 27, 2020. And first of all, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen today. I hope you are staying well, staying safe, and where possible, staying home. I know most of you are at home in self-isolation listening today. And I want to thank you for doing your part to flatten the COVID-19 curve. This is a challenging time for everyone, and I know a lot of people are feeling anxious and uncertain. Please know that your health and safety is the absolute top priority for Melton Council and Town of Melton staff. On that note, I want to take a moment to acknowledge town staff for their hard work and dedication to keep the community informed and ensuring residents have the most up-to-date information about facility closures and municipal service changes. With my support, the Town of Melton established a crisis management team consisting of senior staff several weeks ago who meet regularly to assess and monitor new information from our public health officials and quickly respond to the COVID-19 situation as it evolves. As you may have heard, I officially declared a state of emergency in the town of Melton on March 24th with the support of my colleagues on council and our crisis management team. This decision was not taken lightly. It's a necessary step to protect each and every one of you. The Halton region and the province of Ontario have also declared a state of emergency. I hope the seriousness of these united de declarations will make it clear to you that our individual actions are critical to the health and safety of our community. We must all limit our physical interactions and do our part to plank the curve. Halton Region Public Health is the lead agency in our region for COVID-19. They are our partners in healthcare. Town of Melton has taken and continues to take the necessary actions to reduce the spread of COVID-19 and all of those decisions are made in consultation with the Halton Region Public Health officials. To the many frontline workers, healthcare workers, first responders, and all essential workers, thank you for doing your part to keep us safe and healthy and ensure we have everything we need. You are doing a tremendous job. These workers have the most important job in the world right now, and they are risking their lives every day to take care of us and our loved ones. Thank you for your dedication and your care and response to help all of us. I also want to take the, uh, also want to thank the community at large. Thank you for listening to the advice of Halton Region Public Health and practicing physical distancing. We need to work together to slow down the spread of this virus. I want to acknowledge all the Melton businesses that have put the health and safety of their employees and their customers first by closing their doors. Residents, please continue to support our local business by making online purchases or ordering takeout and delivery food services. The Town of Melton recognizes that these closures will have a major financial impact on small businesses and along with the provincial and federal governments. We are exploring options for support and relief. We have put together a web page for local businesses with links to business supports and resources at www.melton.ca slash business support. If you're a business owner, take a look to see what's already out there to help. I also want to remind residents that there is no shortage of groceries or toiletries. Please only take what you need so there is enough on the shelves for everyone. If you're looking for a way to support our community's most vulnerable people during this time, United Way Halton and Halton has started a COVID-19 emergency fund and you can learn more about that and how to donate at uwhh.ca slash COVID-19. To keep you informed, town staff have put together the top questions that we have been getting through our Let's Talk Mountain COVID-19 forum social media platforms. 
emails and phone calls, keep uh, listening to hear some answers. Let's start with the first question. Does the town have a public health department? Halton Region Public Health is our partner in health care. They are the lead agency for COVID-19 for the most up-to-date information about cases in the region. Uh, symptoms and prevention where to contact public health, you can visit halton.ca slash COVID-19. One of the other questions, can we get a deferral on property tax payments? You know many of our residents and businesses are struggling with concerns about health, finances, and supplies, and we are taking steps each day to help uh, help at the March 30th Council meeting, Council will consider relief options available for property tax payments. Please check our website, Facebook or Twitter for final decision on Tuesday, March 31st. It, another question, is it still safe to go outdoors? Yes, it is still safe to go outdoors. However, you must still practice physical distancing and keep up at least six feet away from others. At this time, dog parks, skate parks, sport courts, and playgrounds are closed. These park amenities are not sanitized and are not safe for your children because the virus lives on surfaces for 48 hours or so. The town has closed these playgrounds to protect the community and we need residents to do their part to stay safe. One of the other questions is, is it possible to fine or charge people for ignoring public space closures? For example, playgrounds, skate parks, dog parks, and sport courts. The town has no enforcing provision on this. We have our bylaw staff monitoring public spaces and educating anyone they see using these areas. If you see people gathering in public spaces, you are encouraged to call the non-emergency phone line of the Halton Police. Another question is, what are the changes to transit in Milton? Milton Transit is not collecting fare until further notice. Passengers are asked to board and exit the bus using the rear doors. If you have a mobility device, please continue using the front doors. We have suspended a few pickups and drop-offs. Please take a look at the transit Frequently asked questions online at melton.ca slash coronavirus or the rider alerts at meltontransit.ca for more details. Are you still giving out parking tickets is another question. Right now, parking enforcement is limited to safety related issues like fire routes and hydrants, accessibility parking, no parking, stopping areas are blocked dry or blocked driveways. Time limit restrictions have also been relaxed to help people who are working from home or self-isolating. You do not need any on-street parking exceptions at this time, exemptions at this time, and you can still dispute a ticket and send in a request for a parking enforcement online. What can residents do to help the community? I encourage residents to continue following the advice of Halton Region Public Health by practicing physical distancing and staying at home as much as possible. You can check in on your family, friends and neighbors by giving them a call or messaging them on social media. We must all keep doing our part to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Before I sign off, I have spoken to our Chief Medical Officer of Health at Halton Region and she has asked me to stress the need for everyone to maintain a physical distance of six feet from each other to help contain the virus and minimize the spread. Take, a physical distance, take physical distancing seriously. Stay home when possible and encourage others to do so. Stay in touch. Check in on your friends and family virtually. We will get through this together. And again, thank you, Milton. I'm Gord Krantz, Mayor of the Town of Milton. Stay safe.